on this episode, we're talking about Cedar Point. And in Cedar Point, who are we talking about? None other than the Mantis. Now, if you guys don't know, Cedar Point last year got their new record-breaking coaster, Gatekeeper, which is also the fastest wing coaster, the tallest wing coaster. But today, Cedar Point posted this picture on Instagram saying, October 19th, the Mantis is getting squashed. What does this mean? This means that my prediction is going to happen. I predicted that Mantis, the new, yes, the stand-up roller coaster, is going to become a floorless roller coaster, which is what's happening. But they announced that LeBron James will be get, getting his roller coaster. So I predict that he will be the topic of the roller coaster. It will not be Mantis anymore. It will now be the King James coaster. So why don't we watch some footage of Mantis?
Alright, so I feel like I'm gonna, I need to narrate through this one just to tell you guys what's gonna happen. So I feel like this drop may change just a little though. Maybe it'll get a little steeper or a little, and a little taller, but that's it. Uh, this loop will stay there if it's gonna be a floorless coaster. So will that dive loop, or I think that's an implement, never mind. Um, that helix either, that's either gonna change or that's gonna turn into a, uh, die or not dive roll uh, um zero g zero g roll but uh oh we're getting it from a different view hold on all right so that drop gonna stay hopefully or get taller i want it to be like 150 feet because i think it's just like 112 but um loop but uh this helix is either gonna be that or a zero g roll and uh this right here, this thingy, I forgot what it's called, I, I'm gonna call it a sideways loop, that's gonna be a cobra roll. At first I thought this thing had a cobra roll, but then I was watching it over like a couple weeks ago and I realized it doesn't have a cobra roll. And that would be a cobra roll, that little element right in the front of the screen right there, that's gonna be a cobra roll, hopefully. And then where that, uh, the brake run is, that's gonna still be a brake run, this is gonna go into interlocking curb screws. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just picture Scream at Magic Mountain because it has pretty much all the same elements that Mantis would need to be a good ride. Alright, so anyways, on with the ride. So, uh, this is an interest, interesting uh, thing right here. I'm pretty sure that it'll have it if you saw the Scream picture that was in it. But right here, you see where that corkscrew is? There's going to be another interlocking corkscrew there too. I forgot if Mantis already has one. And then I'm pretty sure that this little thingy right here will be gone. So it'll be a, a, a longer ride. But it'll feel shorter. And because uh, that little helix right there is going to be gone probably too. Um, whatever that is, that's going to be gone. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Because it looks like an unneeded an element. So that will be replaced with the cover roll. But, uh, hopefully, it'll just be a good, a greater ride than it was now. So far, this is the best, this is the best stand-up coaster I've ever seen. And people on Instagram, when they said that uh, Mantis is going to get squashed, they are like, yes, yes, um, you know, while I'm, while I'm, uh, narrating i guess if you could, if you would say i'm going to go on instagram and tell you what i'm talking about all right so when some people are saying uh i hope you move it to another park you'll be sad if it disappears all right so that was good they said someone said iron dragon should get melted which is the roller coaster that you see right behind it um, it's a red, it's another red roller coaster behind it, not Millennium Force in the back. No, that's not going. I don't think that's going anywhere. If it does, it's going to another park, but it's never getting destroyed, no. Not with holding the record for, like, I think it holds the record for the tallest, uh, tallest, um, roller coaster with the lift hill. Tallest, yeah, tallest roller coaster with the lift hill. And, uh, but that will be... That, uh, that won't, uh, have, that soon, the, the, uh, soon it will, uh, what do you call it? It'll be, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. Soon it will be one of the second tallest because, uh, Carowinds getting the Fury 325, which is 325 feet tall. Um, someone said, I was there in 1996 with the grand opening. Well, good for you. Um, I really hope, I really want to ride it. I wish I could be in Ohio right now to ride it, but I'm not. And, uh, hopefully they will bring, uh, another floorless coaster down to Florida. Actually, I want them to bring a couple floorless coasters because we have one floorless coaster. 
We have a, we have a coaster that has the same exact layout as a floorless coaster, but it has a floor, and that's the Kumba. And that's the closest thing I've ridden to a floorless coaster, and uh, I've never ridden. I think they should get a floorless coaster at Canada's Wonderland 2 and Six Flags over Georgia, because floorless coasters would work. If you guys don't know, Canada's Wonderland, the last day to ride Skyrider was also yesterday. August, no, two days ago, August 29th. Today's September 2nd. But uh, anyway, that was uh, that was pretty sad to see Skyrider go. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Thrill Seekers.